Hey guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. Today we are going to be, um, we're going to be doing a little bit of luxury online shopping because why not? Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion then you're probably going to love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <gasps> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so the last time I did this, I did online retailers like Net-a-Porter, Matches, so on and so forth. I thought this time, let's look at the big hitters. Let's do Dior, Fendi, Gucci. Let's have a little bit of a look at Chanel. I did think about doing Louis Vuitton, but we've talked a lot about Louis Vuitton at the moment. So let's start off with some Dior, shall we? I find the Dior website a little bit annoying to use. Um, I hate the way it's set out. So if the e-commerce team could do something about it, maybe you might get more sales. I don't know, just a suggestion. Okay, women's fashion, what's new? Show me the new stuff. Summer 2020, let's do it. Okay, so tie-dye is a thing. Uh, okay, that romper is looking a little ill-fitting. Okay, you know what? How do we feel about the D-Connect sneakers personally um i don't really feel like it's my vibe but i've seen them on and they look pretty nice so i do very much enjoy this ombre moment i love that kind of pastel yellow and that kind of almost like a dark teal you know how much we respect blue on this channel how much are they selling these are like 820 that's actually a little bit on the high side for like designer trainers bearing in mind chanel trainers are around the 700 mark interesting are we still with the bracelets i mean really it's been around for a while i thought that you know we were like hit it and quit it with the bracelets but apparently not they 440 pounds for this mm -mm. unacceptable oh my gosh when i was 16 i could have made those for you those version of their slides i think is really nice um i love the vibe i love that they're very like streamlined very classic, and I love the colours. 540, okay. Let's look at these new earrings that are in. I would love to see it on an ear, so you're not going to show me it on an ear. So for £320, I'm not even going to see it on an ear. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we have some John Lennon looking glasses. Good for him. RIP, rest in peace. Okay. I don't know, I'm much more into the shoes than I am everything else. This sandal, okay, we love... Hmm. See, I love this set, and I don't know if it's just because I love, like, you know, I feel like it could be very edgy with the street style. So we have this black camera, camouflage, we have this black camouflage, taffeta anorak, um, that is three grand, um, with the shorts. I feel like that is a look, especially if you, like, tuck the anorak into the shorts, you have a full cohesive set moment. Maybe you hit it with some, like, a pop of colour, maybe, like, the trainers. Mm, I like that look. I like I like where my head is going with this. The styling in my head makes sense. So this entire outfit will be £4,050. Uh, that's a little bit steep for some taffeta shorts, you know? Taffeta shorts, £1,150. Dior's prices these days has been through the roof. If I could whistle, insert. Mm, one there. Oh! I take it back. Take the camouflage back. This in the Toile de... Is this the correct pronunciation? Toile de Jouis? I don't know. That sounds nice, so I'm gonna stick with it. I love this. I love this pairing. I love that anorak with those shorts. With the matching small book tote. Yeah. Yes. <gasps> I love that moment. Wow, okay, and you know what? That anorak is 200 pounds cheaper. Not 2927. What a steal! You know, I'm like this close to selling my feet pics online. I hear OnlyFans, hear people are racking up the cash on OnlyFans, so... Can we just... Can we just take a moment to talk about this look? It's a no from me, okay? That jacket is extremely simple and boring. And you, you want me to part with 2700 for jacket? Mm -mm. And then those boring, boring trousers that look like the trousers that, like... People who go on gap years for a year and, you know, travel around and find themselves come back with and they were like 30 pence. That's what those trousers look like. Ooh, okay. Mm. I saw this recently and I thought, this is such a me moment. This is the Blue Dior Oblique Canvas Belt Pouch, okay? 
Now, if it wasn't so similar to my like saddle belt bag, I would have parted with my money already. But this is basically a cute little belt bag with a little ob oblique pouch just stuck on the front there. Love it. W again, would have loved a picture of it on Dior, please. Honestly, if you're wanting me to part with money, can you at least show me how it looks on the body? Tell me about it. Single interior compartment makes the piece convenient for carrying away wallet, keys, other small essentials, removable and adjustable belt. Love. That is a good one. This coat. Let's just have a chat about it. So here we have um, this coat that looks like it would come in very handy if one was sort of abandoned in the Amazonian rainforest and needs to, you know, blend in. I feel like for a fashion flex, mm -mm, this ain't it sis. I'll keep my four grand there. Can we stop with these hats? Can we stop with this little like train conductor hat? It's not cute, okay? And again, maybe it's just because I'm biased because I'm not a hat person, I've tried. Oh, believe me, I've tried. Um, but this is just a no, you know, like we don't live in Peaky Blinders, never even seen that, but I know the vibe. You're not a train conductor in like the twenties. There is no need. You know what? I, I am just completely swayed by the gray oblique print. I love it. I love it a lot. Okay. So they've done another belt bag, but in the 30 Montan style, she's a classy one. Okay. If you're more of a class, uh, be, 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 be. Pump the brakes. I see what they mean by two in one. I like it. This is a good one. How much are they? One five. Not bad for the versatility. Hear me out, okay? Firstly, that grey. Love her. She does a belt bag moment. Do you see this? I like. Good size, can fit a lot. You can fit a phone in that comfortably. Then, you know, you've got that textured leather happening. I'm here for it. But also, hold on a second. You can use her on a chain. So you have casual day and then you have switch it up for the night, remove the chain, remove the belt, little pouch, little clutch. I am a fan of this. Go, oh, okay. Do your summer collection. Not mad about it. Let's take ourselves to Fendi. Oh, those shoes need to go. What is it with this honeycomb looking heel? Ooh, brown fab fabric promenade. Nope. That is the type of shoes that a substitute teacher wears. Substitute teachers were not known for their style, you know? Here's a jumpsuit, okay? Let's have a look at this. <gasps> the colours though. Not a fan of the colours. I love everything else. I think that this like trench vibe with the shorts and the rope belt, I love it. And it's silk, mmm. Slinky. Um, hate the colours though. I love this green. Okay, you know me, I love a Fendi baguette. I think it's a great piece. I love the versatility. This green, a pop. I live for it. I think that that is fabulous. It's not quite a neon. <gasps> what is this? What is this that I see? A cobalt. Guys, with the gold hardware. She's killing it. She is killing it. Do I need to add this to the wish list? Screenshot. <gasps> I live for her. Mm, I'm getting a lot of like 70s vibes. Oh, I hate this print so much with all the flowers. It's just like, mm. um, Okay, here's another kind of underrated piece. The flat baguette. Now, annoyingly, it is flat as the name suggests. So you can't fit too much in. It's kind of shaped like this from the side. But if you're looking for like a mini bag situation, you know me, I love that thick canvas. Oh, she's got card slots in there though. You don't need to put your wallet inside. Um, you know me, I love a thick canvas strap. It gives it a little bit of a little casual edge. What is this? What are these sneakers I see? White canvas low tops. And then you've got something weird happening at the toe. Why do they do that? 
I'm liking these espadrilles. Show me. You know what? I think a classic wedge espadrille is just a staple, a need for the summer, truly. I like these. I like these in the beige. I think they're cute. Love the FF on the toe. I'm here for it. All in all, Fendi's collection is a little too 70s for me, but you know, go off sis. Okay, let's bring it back to Chanel, which although we cannot shop online, um, personal shoppers can get you Chanel, personal shoppers on Instagram, and also if you have a Chanel essay, you can get in contact with them and apparently they're fulfilling orders as well. Okay, so let's check out the Chanel bags that are new this season. Let's see what's out there, you know, just in case anything piques the old interest. This kills me. The mini flat bag in crystal. Oh, look at her sparkle. Oh my gosh, I bet she's tiny. I bet she's like a, just a tiny little babe. Oh, and she's just a pouch. She's just a pouch. You're going to get nothing in there, but does it matter? No. Oh, she's 2,700. Setting up my OnlyFans account this evening. <gasps> that is so cute. Oh. Okay, these clutches, really, do we need them? Like, who thought, you know what, let's do like a half, like a, let's just do like a half circle. What is it, like a, what's, what's half a circle? A half a sphere, sphere is a hemisphere. A hemicircle, half a circle. It's a semicircle. So they did that and then they made it like roughly. Mm. This. Flat bag. Yes. Flat bag with ruffle on the arm. No. Why? This with the like, oh, it's got little pearls on it that spell Chanel. Cute. This little camera case. They've done the like camera bags for a while, but this is, you know, a little bit more round, a little bit more rotund which I like, um, like a very nice crossbody situation. And the chain, the, oh, so the CC is out. Is it raised? Yes, you can like pop your hand through and, and like that. That's cute. What else is calling on him? I love this flat bag with the adjustable toggle. I mean, I wish everything had the sodding adjustable toggle, the little round thing, because as we all know, the Chanel lengths, is an issue it also means that you can turn it into a belt bag cute versatile we love her finally you know what let's end with a little bit of the little bit of the old gooch gucci's underwear is now a huge thing and to be honest i thought the price point would probably be like around like 400 for a little like mesh gg bralette and pants situation you know i was wrong 670 for a lingerie set fair enough it's a lot cheaper than the dior version which is like 900 or something for the top. Here we go, let's have a look at it, shall we? Two pictures, front and back, looks identical. So thanks for wasting everyone's time. Uh, Gucci again, they love a 70s vibe. Fendi and Gucci are just loving this 70s vibe. We've got this boot that is questionable. We've got a jacket that looks like, you know, Elton John would wear. Um, nothing wrong with that, just making an observation. Cotton tank top, £260, with Gucci orgasmique. What does that mean? Oh, there's literally a patch on the back that says Gucci orgasmic. What about this? Crystal tulle legging. Show me. Why does it look like saggy? Oh, it had so much potential. There was no shopping, but you know, we did have a peruse, we had a look around and um, you know, we saw some things that may be added to the wish list, maybe we won't be. I'm going to link to my last version of this that I did with the online retailers. Let me know what you think about me doing brand specific versus online retailers, because I have a lot of fun doing these. Guys, have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.